Hey guys, I literally just jumped out of the shower and popped on here because I had an aha moment in the shower and I was thinking about prioritizing myself. This morning, uh, Junior went out, husband, went out and worked out and then he came home and then he told me he had something else to do and it, my initial reaction was resentment. I know that many of you can feel me on that. And, um, well, first off, there's this quote that comes to mind is that expectations are resentments waiting to happen and it made me think why why am I doing this still um way back when Rosen was still really little I had a conversation with my sister-in-law and I was like you know Junior always seems to like work out he always seems to get his workouts in and I'm always waiting um for him to you know watch Rosen so that I can work out too and she was like you have to stop waiting for him and you just have to do it and that stuck with me ever since. And I mean, I still slip back all the time into it today. I did that. Um, I haven't gotten back into my own regular workout routine, but this is not about working out. This is about prioritizing yourself in general. And um, I realized that I've slid back into that waiting for somebody to step in and go, here, let me help you prioritize yourself. And it's just not realistic and it's going to end up you feeling resentful and it's just not going to be a pretty situation so what i suggest is that you take your power back aka be responsible for yourself and just step up and claim yourself as a priority instead of waiting to make yourself a priority because you will always end up being the last person on your list and then you're gonna get resentful and you're gonna end up bitter and that is how we end up losing who we are and losing that beautiful, vibrant, fun self is because resentment kills her. Resentment kills her and expectations that we have on ourselves and on, that, like, and on everybody else just drowns her and suffocates her and kills her. So you need to prioritize yourself, you need to put yourself first and you need to do that by stepping up and claiming time for yourself. Put it in your book if you have to, or just like, don't ask permission, stop asking permission from your spouse to prioritize yourself. Just say, you know, this afternoon, honey, I'm gonna have a 20 minute shower, okay? Not asking, just letting him know, you know, you don't have to come at him like with that like sort of attitude or anything just be like hey babe i'm gonna have a 20 minute shower this afternoon and it's gonna be so awesome or whatever i mean absolutely whatever whether if it's a workout whether it's an extra long shower um and if there's a little bit of pushback just say no you know i'm sure that that we can make this work like just stand your ground have those boundaries and enjoy it just enjoy it because you need to fill your cup. It is not wrong. Um, the quote that I put on my Instagram most recently from Glennon Doyle was that we need more selfish women. We need more women who are full of themselves because this whole putting ourselves last thing is not serving anyone. It's not serving the world. It's not serving our families. And that's what we need to get back to. We need to get back to who we really are and we can only do that by prioritizing ourselves. So thanks for watching. Share this with a friend, share it wherever. Um, if you're watching on face in my Facebook group, uh, give me a comment below. If you're watching on Instagram, I mean, sorry, YouTube, give me a like, subscribe to my channel, wherever it may be. So thanks again for watching and uh, reach out, let's be friends.